What is up, Captains and Cadets? Star Atlas Never Alone Mission 2 has been released. I just want to talk about my own personal perspective. Maybe give a tip or two? I don't know. And I also want to talk about Aphia's companion campaign that they released the other day. Let's dive into it. What's up, Mudonies and Oosters? Star Atlas Never Alone Mission 2 is out. Just in case you don't know what Never Alone is, you can go to play.staratlas.com and click right here, Start Quest, and earn yourself some loot. You can watch one of my older videos and learn all about that. We're not here to talk about what the campaign is, but we're here to talk about Mission 2, and here is some of the loot that you can get for Mission 2. I don't know how special this loot is, but what I'm really interested in is look at this emote right here. We're getting a little bit closer to finding out what the symbol for Never Alone is. It looks like two Poonab paws holding something right here. If you happen to know what that is, uh, leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear what your thoughts are. And you can get yourself a Unibama. But what's really cool is check out this exclusive Core Century cover. It looks like it's starring our hero... Well, anti-hero, hero, we don't know yet. Sand himself right there. I think this is super cool. So what is mission two? Well, here's the pin tweet on Twitter. This will also bring you to the Zeely page where we can start doing mission two. Um, I started doing it so far, but I took a couple screenshots um, for the very beginning. Let's see, let's go right here. So you start off mission two by getting started, insert and update your Solana address. And I gave a little thought into it after um, I read this little write up at the beginning here. It says, please consider that this needs to be the same Solana wallet that you join a faction and play Sage in the UE5 game. Um, last time I read that exact same thing, but I entered my burner wallet address this time i believe when wreck comes out i don't want to really be playing with my soul flare burner wallet i was thinking i might want to use my phantom wallet where my fleet is actually established in score because i'm going to be moving my fleet from score into the sage game so i entered a new address i wasn't too sure if it would work but i saw on discord that dominic vane said that you could use a different address I entered it in right at the very bottom of that this one very first mission and it took about I think it took about oh I'd say 18 hours for it to clear it was in review for a while but my new address is now in mission two so I'm excited to have that that worked and I didn't screw up in some way now if you do enter a new address and you haven't claimed your mission one memory glimpses yet you do need to enter your original address. Um, I read that also on Discord. If you enter the new address, uh, it could really screw you up. So on my page right here, um, Spybo had posted that he grabbed his memory glimpses right here. If you are waiting to claim the loot at the end of the year, instead of burning it right away to get the few skins that you can get, you still can claim the airdrop and have the memory glimpses in your wallet. I believe it was either Josea or Santi on Discord said it was okay to claim them right now. And so I'm going to do that right now because I haven't done it. So let's head on over to my Soul Flare Burner wallet. I'll be right back. All right, so here's my Burner Scavenger wallet I was using for Escape Velocity. Uh, you can see I don't have my memory glimpses in it yet. And that's because I need to go over to the Star Atlas inventory. I need to connect my wallet right here. We're going to connect my Soul Flare wallet. Bum, 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 bum. All right, so now that that's connected, if we go over to structure, you can see I need to claim these three memory glimpses. And so I'm gonna claim each one. Approve, approve, approve. Now let's see where they are. I don't even know where they're gonna be. Uh oh, it'll probably just take a second or we can just go back to my wallet and see if it's they're in there. Woohoo! You, they're in there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna end up sending these um, over to my main wallet. Um, I did read. I think it was Josea said to read the description on these. Oh, cool! We got more lore. So guys, I think that uh, 
I'm going to not spoil anything, but I, I think that you should click on each one of these and check out the descriptions. It could be something spicy. So I'm going to send these over to my main wallet, um, but I'm not going to bore you guys with that right now. Um, I want to talk about some of the missions. So let's go over to Zeely. I did two of the missions, I think, so far. And if we go over, let's see, let's go to my inbox. You'll be able to see what I did. And I did um, the story of the medium zone. What we had to do is we had to come up with an, an AI planet and write up a little uh, segment, like a, a little name the planet and write up a little uh, description on what we thought the planet was. And the second one we had to do was bottoms up. And bottoms up was, I thought was a really fun mission. And what this mission was is if you go over to the bounty bar twitter page the bounty bar has been around for almost as long as star atlas they like the twitter page right here you can see they joined october of 2021 i believe they might have been around even longer than that on discord i'm not too positive but it feels like they've been around forever um but it's a collaboration where you have to create a drink for the bounty bar and you have to name your drink and there's an optional um description of your drink or ingredients of your drink that you can uh, put along with it um you're supposed to use ai or really any type of media i believe to create some type of artistic version of your drink and post it uh this has been really fun to see what everyone's coming up with um i made one for the oosters this was my drink right here called the data wipe i had my own ingredients on it you can check it out on my twitter page um, so I wanted to, this is my little tip, I think, because I saw in Discord a lot of people have never used any of the AI art programs, and I want to show you one of the easiest way to create some AI art. All right, so Bing. So Bing has something called Chat Now, and what Chat Now uses is Chat GPT for their AI, but they also use something called Dolly. And you can see right here, I typed in, create a picture of a planet similar to Earth, but with lava instead of water. That's it's all i typed in and they came out when it came up with these really cool pictures I, I think i want to post this one right here on my twitter i think that one came out super cool i know i already posted a planet but i want to do one more well at least we got it here on uh on my youtube <laughs> channel so here's a here's a fourth one so you can type in um you can type in your planet a description of the planet and you can also type in your drink um i'm just gonna say uh probably can't see this because it's probably behind my head but i wrote into Bing, I wrote, create a realistic image of a drink in a goblet that is glowing purple and green sitting on a bar. Let's see what Dolly comes up with. But you can go to Google Play or you can go to Apple, um, the Apple Store, and you can um, download an AI, AI art program. A lot of the programs, though, they only give you a limited amount of images and then they want you to pay for it. Um, this Bing is pretty cool because you can just keep on typing in all sorts of stuff and it comes up with all these images as long as you like what Dolly creates, which I think this is pretty cool, right? Another really cool one. So you can take one of these four, you can um, take a screenshot of it or you can hit save image and then you can post this on Twitter and problem solved, creating something for your mission to never alone campaign, right? All right, so now we're back into quests. Um, there's two quests to do with the brand new photo career mode um, and we are the star Alice is hosting a photo contest and you can check it out on their Twitter page or their Instagram page or the discord to learn a little bit more about that. Um, there's a nice little video that goes along with it and you can find the video right here and you can click on it. Um, and this is lights camera action mission um, that you need to do. Um, all you have to do is retweet that. We can do this right now. I already retweeted it, but I'm sure it's going to ask me to retweet it again. Oh, uh, hold on. All right. We'll see if that worked. Um, yeah, it did. All right, sweet. <laughs> so I just claimed that one. All right, so here is the second photography mission. It's called Preparing for a New Adventure. You have to go into the UE5 version of the game, go into the showroom, and you have to take a picture, and then you have to publish it. In order to gain this mission, you get a thousand XP, which is pretty cool. So if you have a computer that is good enough to um, to launch the showroom, you definitely should do this. I figured I could do it live with you guys. Um, before we do that, though, I just want to talk about the awesome sand storyline that's been going along with each mission. Jose has been riding up a storm. You know Jose from the Atlas Brew. If you don't, he's awesome. He's one of our lore creators. And speaking of lore, this is all intertwined with lore. I just learned who created the... Fimble Airbike and the Fimble Lobby. That was really cool to read about. 
Um, so definitely um, make sure you read all this storyline before you claim your mission because you won't be able to read it afterwards. So let's go take a picture and see if we can publish it. I've never done this before. It's new for me. Let's see if we can do it. All right, guys. So I'm in Outpost 39. I have the Calico Hero spawned all in. It's one of the ships that we can actually test flight this week, which I'm super excited about that because I don't own this ship. I'm going to go into photo mode by pressing the P button and I'm going to zoom around. I sometimes like to hit the tab button afterwards um, so I can actually frame in the picture without all the stuff on the screen. I want to see if I can get the uh, move it around. Sometimes it like changes the lighting. Ooh, I like the uh, shadow of my character. Let me zoom up a little bit. Zoom out. Hmm. Oh, see like right there. See, it just kind of changed the lighting. All right, I got the shadow of my guy in there. How do I want to frame in the Calico Hero, though? Zoom in a little bit. Move stuff around. Sorry, guys, bear with me till I get this. I'm just going to click it right there. I'm going to click that one, see if I love it. I do the right click on the mouse in order to take a picture. All right, so I took a couple shots, and then it said to hit the escape button. So we're going to do that, and it said to go and go into extras. Again, this is the first time I've ever done this, so this is new for me too. All right, so photo gallery. So these are the couple of shots I just took. Um, ba -bum, which one do I like? Which one should we publish live right here? Do I like this one with the trees? Let's see, this one? This one? Oh, I kind of like the lighting on that. This has the shadow. All right. And then it says hit P for publish. Let's see what happens. Are you sure you want to publish the screenshot on Discord? Warning, you can only publish one photo every 24 hours. Ah, let's do it. Post it in post on discord in progress this is pretty cool man all right so we'll have to check discord and we'll see if uh hey it's published and we'll see see what it looks like all right so i'm on discord and i was looking for photography mode and i couldn't find it i'm so dumb with discord i don't know why i just can never figure this this thing out i don't know why ah new atlas brew event but if you go down to channel and roles and you click on that and you go to browse channels and you, because you don't see photography um you can see all the different i don't know oh i guess channels that uh that the star atlas has to offer and right here is photography mode and i don't have it checked so i'm gonna check on it and look at this it popped right up and so let's see if my picture is in here yeah there it is all right so um i'm gonna have to somehow try to figure out how to put beyond the horizon as my title right there but there is my photograph i'm pretty excited that was a lot of fun so i hope you guys can figure that out too if you can get into the showroom you have a computer that can handle it um i can't wait to see all your photos and speaking of let's kind of scroll down right here and check the, wow this one a lot of people have been talking about that one is epic all these are super cool guys way to go love it love it love it so hopefully you see your picture right here in this video as I scroll down. There's so many awesome ones. I'm going to have to take a look, better, closer, stronger look at every single one. Look at this black and white one right here. All right. So one more thing I want to um, talk about is um, let's go over to Twitter right here. Um, one of the most recent things I posted is just the, just yesterday, I believe. AFIA Industries, AFIA just had their two year anniversary. Congr congratulations, guys. Um, the guild uh, made their own companion campaign to never alone called stronger together and they have their own storyline going um about sand it's super cool we'll click on this right here here it is it's called stronger together obviously um there here's the the storyline about sand i loved it so far i hope you guys all read about it um as you scroll down it talks about collaborations and prizes and what they're going to be giving out at the end of the year and how they're going to be giving out um prizes I really definitely want you guys to go and check this out if you haven't because it's it's just a, a great thing that they're offering and it's for free. Um, they also have this special quest right here and that's because they have collaborated with Dark Core Roasters. So congratulations guys over there on Dark Core. Um, it's a coffee quest right here you can see. So um, read all about it. There's more storyline and it, this looks exactly like the Never Alone campaign. So if you you can't get enough of never alone definitely do this stronger together um i did one of the very first quests which um was just getting started 
And you can see right here that they have their own version of memory fragments that you can collect. I think this is great. I mean, here's their version and here's the Star Atlas version. It looks so similar. Love the artwork too that they did. Super cool, guys. I'm Beyond the Horizon. I love you all. Please subscribe because I haven't done a recap video in a while in the next, hopefully in the next 24 hours, if not 48 hours. I'm going to get that recap video out to you guys. There's so much to talk about since the last one I did on the 4th of July. Holy smokes, a lot has happened. Um, I'll talk to you guys later. You're all the best. Love you all, like I said. Later.